Oh, it's gonna be strong shit. <laughs> oh, scary flour and sugar. Never do master shit. Oh, see? <laughs> this is what. This is Jasmine Sawyers. She's Britain's number one long jumper. She can jump six meters 90. She can sing too and was mentored by Will I Am on The Voice. This is Jasmine Sawyers. Jazz, I like to start these things with a brew. You're a coffee fan, aren't you? I am. Big coffee fan. Okay, so we've got you some special coffee here. It's called Strong Shit. Do you like... <laughs> it's actually called Strong Shit. Do you like strong coffee? I do, luckily. And you you use good. this machine here, don't you? Yeah, so this is my AeroPress. It comes like this so that I can take it everywhere. How important is coffee to you? Sorry? How, How important, important is coffee, coffee to you? you? I'm not crazy. I'm not having five cups a day any more than that. I'm having probably two, but I wake up with the coffee. That's the okay. very first thing I do. All right, let's make this and, uh, and, and start. I travel with this as well. It's a little scale. I will. What, you weigh, the, you weigh the coffee? Yeah. All right. This is going to be 11 grams. 11 grams of coffee. Is that for one cup? That's for one cup, or yeah. We're going we're gonna to share and have one each. But th this only makes one. Well, that's so good. We've got two so cups. Can, yeah. You make... not get a bigger one. I mean, it smells so strong. It's going to be strong. It's going to be strong. And then I'm going to come behind you to the cooker tap. I'll leave that for about a minute and a half. Right, okay, well let's put 90 seconds on this. But, but the other thing we've got, done here is we've um, got your food for a training day. How important is food for training? It's one of the most important things, it's the fuel that we use. That's what we're constantly drilled into as bio-nutritionists is that the food is the fuel that, um, that we run off. I will notice within a day if I go off track with the sorts of foods that I'm supposed to be eating. Notice what, mentally, psychologically or physically? Physically, the way really? that I feel. Even warming up, going for my warm-up jog, I feel more sluggish if I've eaten less healthy foods the day before. And how important is weight? Power is what you need. Yeah, exactly. The power to weight ratio is kind of the thing you want to try and balance out. If I'm too much skinnier than this, I don't have any power. I need an engine from somewhere because um, I don't have those long limbs to be sort of using through the air. Do you have to lose weight before a competition? In theory, it would be better if I just stayed at my competition weight or around my competition weight all year, but I can't do it. I'm miserable. Yeah, Minute it's time and for half. coffee. Let's go. All right, so this goes on top. The filter's in there, it screws on, and then you pop the cup on top, turn it over and push it through like that. And I think this is going to be very, very strong. Well, we know it's strong because it's labelled strong shit. So. It's going to be strong <laughs> shit. Cheers, yeah. yeah. Cheers. Well, it's not too bad, is it? Yeah, that I'm machine's good as well, isn't it? Any coffee-loving athlete has one of these. Really? Yeah, th these pop up all over the circuit. Essential part of the kit. <laughs> it is. I've got my trainers, I've got my running shorts, got my vest, got my bib, and my AeroPress. Let's talk through what you eat every day. Training day. Before I've even gotten to breakfast, I've had a cup of coffee. Start the day, it's always eggs. Why um, eggs and how do you make your eggs? Uh, scramble the eggs, just because it's an easy source of protein when it feels breakfasty. Yogurt, similarly for the protein, I like it. And then berries for the taste really, but without being a very high sugar fruit. Energy drink, uh, if it's gonna be a particularly tough session. Not every single day. Once the session's done, I'll have a protein bar or a protein shake. Why? for muscle recovery, muscle repair. Then I'll come home for lunch. This plate, we'd also have prawns several times a week. Again, it's a good source of protein for the kind of calorie benefit that you get. There's loads of veg. Uh, mango in there, so the prawns are gonna go in with the mango. Chili, lime, cucumber, peppers, carrots. I'm then finishing off my lunch with a jazz apple. You're sponsored by Jazz Apples. I am sponsored by Jazz Apples. Jazz Apples for Jazz, which is just my favourite partnership ever. It That's just makes, brilliant. It makes yeah. perfect sense. It's yeah. healthy and they're good. And did you always like apples anyway? Yeah, I've always I love been apples. An apple. I eat at least one to two apples a day. And uh, I like this thing that you've uh, you bought along. This is the Jazz Apple Slicer. It made me do eat more apples it? than I've ever eaten. Do you use it? I use it every day. Because you don't eat the core. No, I eat the core. So do I. Do you eat the pips? Yeah. So do I. Let's give this a go so you can. You can show us how to do this. So straight over the center, make the little cut, push down, push it out. So I ate the core. I talked about it on Sunday brunch when I eating the core and everybody says you can't eat them because they'll poison you, kill you. It's nonsense, there's not enough poison in them. You have to eat about a thousand. I think so, yeah. For let me, a long let me time. try a jazz apple. That's good. If I can find another apple, can someone throw me an apple? I don't know, look at that. You want to make apples toast better? You cut them like this. 
What you do is you make apple crisps and they're tasty. I mean, it is. That is, isn't it? It's good Hold like on. that. It's good that like, is. but it has been in the fridge. It is a delicate slice. That's for off. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get longer in the jump? The easiest way to get better at long jump is to run faster. When you're flying, mm -hmm. are you doing how much? Everything you do in the air, all that does is set you up to land better. So you running in the air is not going to make you go further, but if it gives your legs something to do so that your heels don't drop sooner, then it, it's working. Does it hurt hitting the sand? No. People think it does, but you land on your feet. You look like you don't land on your feet, oh. but you actually land on your feet and tuck in. See, I was wondering the other day, with the a uh, high jump, yeah. they used to go with their legs and then one yeah, day yeah. someone went over with their back mm -hmm. and they had to obviously introduce a crash mat because people were going over backwards and I was wondering whether you'd thought about jumping forwards. Well, there used to be people that would do a somersault. somersault. It got banned because people were landing on their necks. <laughs> My definition of success, making the best attempt at the goals you set and being happy with the outcome. Yeah, you can only do your best, can't you? Yeah. I worked in a fish and chip shop and I worked in Hollister. Hollister was probably the worst job, but it wasn't bad. I mean, I've only really had two. I loved the chippy. That was great. Did you always stink of fish and chips? Always. My hair stank of it and it was a really hard summer to keep my uh, competition weight in check. <laughs> Always on there is Go the Distance from Hercules. I don't know it. You will, you will. I can find my way, I can go the distance. I don't care. You don't, don't know that from Hercules? It's a. Oh, is it a Disney film? It's a Disney film! <laughs> yeah! From Hercules, I the Disney Hercules film. is a band that I had never heard of. No, 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 the Disney oh, film. No, no, I haven't watched any oh. Disney films. Have you still got uh, Will I Am phoning you constantly, checking up on you? Yeah, he's always trying to drag me back <laughs> in and I say, Will, I'm busy, I'm so sorry, I'm long jumping. Yeah. No, I have not heard from Will. First thing I do in the morning is drink a cup of coffee. You um, have an alarm clock yeah. which wakes you up with coffee. Just as the cup of coffee's finished making, the alarm goes off and I sit up, pick the coffee up drink the coffee. That's the first thing I do every so single So years day. ago there used to be teas maids. Yeah, this is what everyone says. And then everyone <laughs> takes the mickey out of teas maids, but they've just reinvented it for coffee and now it's cool. And now it's cool, they've just made it look a little bit fancier yeah. and that's it. Yeah, that's I love great. it. This is a sort of meal you would cook in the evening, isn't it? What is this we're going to do? So we're going to do like a sesame chicken with sort of an effectively egg fried rice, but it's not all going to be fried. But before we start, obviously, um, before you perform, we always have to start off by going, Oh, Whole room. <laughs> Whole room. The crowd yeah. going. <laughs> Why'd you do that? It's so exciting when you've got a whole stadium of people doing the big clap for you and, and they, they, get, they go too fast so you go away and you slow them down you go, no, start here. You know what drives me nuts though? It's when some jumpers do it and they don't go for 30 seconds. And you've got the whole crowd, they're already at but full speed. But they're going speed. faster They're already faster. at full speed and they're still standing there. Just going yeah. back and forth. Now, do what's, you do the back and forth? No, I don't do the back and forth. I was watching you in the Commonwealth Games and you seem to be getting really off on the, the crowd clapping. I love it. And you were really enjoying I it. I love and it. And I was thinking, concentrate, Dad. You're, <laughs> you're jumping. Come on, concentrate. Right, let's do this then. So how do we make this? We've got to put the chicken in. So we've got to season the chicken first. When you do your fitness, do you do mainly cardio or do you do strength? Very little of my training, I think, would be referred to as cardio. So my fitness isn't a, a component of the long jump. You know, I don't need to be quote unquote fit. Are you fit? This time of year, ish. In December, I'm very, very fit. What is the life of a, a, an athlete like? Is it a bit mundane? <laughs> uh, it's, it's very samey. It's a lot of the same stuff over and over and over. You do the exact same thing you did yesterday, pretty much. You go up to the gym, you do the same gym warm up you did yesterday. You do your same gym cool down you did yesterday. If you're a 400 meter runner, you can leave it all on the track, can't you? That's you true. Go, and when you cross that line, you can go. Breathe heavily, lie on the ground. I worked you as hard guys, as I could, yeah. Yeah, we, you guys you, think you haven't quite got it right. And then you've got, I suppose, another half an hour, 45 minutes before your next jump mm -hmm. to think about what you've done wrong. Yeah. <laughs> trying to motivate yourself. But it's kind of a good thing. I like, we've got at least three chances to get it right. So, and I think that's how I see it. I don't see it as a, oh God, I've got to do it now. It's more, I get three attempts at this. And as soon as I stand on the runway, I try and clear my head, think about one cue only, and just think about aggression. Purely think about, get into the board as fast as I can. What are you thinking about when you're in the air? Because I know you've done all the counting, then when you're in the air, what are you thinking? I don't think there's even time to think. By the time, time you hit the, by the time you're in the air, I'm you know bird. if it was good or not. I'm an eagle. So you're either going <laughs> yes or ugh. Really? Yeah. You How long is it? Six or seven seconds? In the air? No, in oh, the, the whole, whole thing. thing. Not even that, maybe. Be around that. 
from start to finish. So all that training for all that time for six, oh, it's mad, it's mad, isn't That's it? why I get the crowd involved, because you know, you, you've got to make <laughs> it worthwhile. <laughs> So Jazz, we like to do a taste test on this and we thought a good one would be to see how good artificial meat is getting. So on one of these plates in front of us, we both, by the way, we're blindfolded. Uh, one of these plates in front of us is uh, real chicken and the other plate is artificial chicken and we're gonna see if we can tell the difference. So I think if we both start on the, the left one, which okay. is, are we anywhere near it? Uh, <laughs> there. Oh, there we go, okay. Have you, have you got that? I've got, I'm a, I'm here. Oh, it's, I didn't, oh, I've got the same piece. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, have you tasted that? Mm-hmm. Okay, interesting. And then if you come over to the right one. Oh, it's too easy. Jazz, are you still there? I'm here, sorry, <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking and, and you've eating. Gone, you've gone quiet. I feel like this is, that's easy, I think. I think the real was first, because I think the one on the right, yeah. they've tried to make it taste like roast chicken, but the texture is wrong for roast chicken. Oh, now you confuse me. But the one on the left doesn't taste as much. No, it doesn't, but that's why I think it's like lunch meat, rather, you know, like slices. We are getting confused. You've confused me now. Oh, it's too easy. I'm still gonna go the one on the right, so mm. chicken. No, I'm going left as chicken, you but ready? it's like sandwich chicken. I think you could be right. Well, let's, let's start, I'll stick with right, you stick with left. Okay. okay, reveal in three, two, one, go. You're right. I was right. Got it. What, what is the atmosphere like with the, the other athletes? Are you friends with the oppo? Yeah, long jump, I think it's one of the friendliest events. I've got a theory that the sort of friendliness of the events depends on how long they have to spend with each other in the field of play. So sprinters, are, they're not friends. Right. Sprinters are kind of angry at each other some of the time. There's beef between sprinters. The big rivalries often happen between sprinters. And I think that's because they spend, what, 15 minutes in the cool room, then they go out onto the field of play, run for 10 seconds, and they're gone again. The friendliest with each other are the combined eventers and the pole vaulters. So they're all traveling around, trying to keep track of poles. If some of them get snapped or get lost on the way to competitions, they have to share each other's poles. So they kind of need to be friends. They have their own poles? Yeah, they've each got a set of poles. I always assume they just use the poles which were there. Each bolter has their Have own poles. Have you tried poles. that? I've tried it. Are you good? I'm all right. I wish I'd done that instead. <laughs> I think... It's not too late. I think I why should have been you, a pole vaulter. Why do you do that? How is your mental health? How, how is it if you don't win? But mental health generally is good, but I take losing really hard. I've always been a bad loser. I was a terrible, terrible loser as a kid. I'm slightly more professional about it now, but it still hits me just as hard. See, if, you, if you don't do well at an event, good few weeks, isn't it, before the next event Sometimes comes up? Sometimes it's a year. How do you deal with that? I always turn around and go, right, what was the reason that I lost? And what are the steps I can take now to change that for next time? So it's always a case of going straight back to it and going, right, how do I fix it? Have you got one thought on the future for when you retire? I hope to end up in broadcasting. That's the ideal. I just want to keep trying all that stuff, seeing if there's somewhere that I'll fit. Oh, Jazz, I've never realised how noisy chicken is until you <laughs> cook it. Tell us about The Voice, because you were on The Voice. Yeah. Um, how did they find out about you, or did you reply? What happened? So they, um, I had YouTube videos of me singing, singing, and they'd seen that and sent me a message saying, hey, we'd like your videos, we'd like you to come and apply for The Voice. But this was back in 2015, and I said, look, I can't. I'm trying to finish my degree. I'm trying to qualify for the Olympics next year. Um, this is one too many things. They said, oh, Olympics, like, now we're interested. Now we're really interested. Well, will you come back next year instead? So I goes, yeah, next year I'll do it. No worries, I'll finish my degree. The Olympics will be over. Like I'll come and do it next year. So the day I landed from Rio, I didn't go home. I stayed in London instead. And the following day went to my first audition for The Voice. And you got Will I Am. Yeah. What was he like to, to work with? He was relatively disengaged, truth be told. Really? Yeah. With my experience as an athlete, coaching coaches are involved. See, yeah. And I sort of expected some involvement and there wasn't really any. He was perfectly nice, don't get me wrong. Right, so I'm cracking these in here, am I? Yes. Crack those in there, scramble them in, and then that can probably, yeah, that way around. Oh, you're putting the rice in I was going to do the way around, but, it but it's fine because it, it's as long as it's still warm. Sorry, Jazz, I ruined your recipe. Quite all right. And then the spinach as well, that should wilt. Interesting conversation, though, about how women's athletics in this country is definitely bigger than men's athletics, isn't it? Yeah, I think the average person could name more female athletic stars than they could male that are currently active. But no one objects to it. No one goes, oh, I wish I didn't have to watch the women. Yeah. It's all just sport. Oh. 
That looks great. Are you going to do SAS Who Dares Win? I'd love to do that one. Okay, what about Jungle? You'd be oh, great at the Jungle. That's, the, that's top of the list. Really? Like, that's the one I'd want to do the most. You want to do Celebrity Bake Off? It'd be scary. How do you, oh yeah, I'll jump off a jo ski <laughs> jump, but I'm not going to bake a cake. Oh, scary flour and sugar. Ooh, there's <laughs> eggs involved. Ooh. That scares me way more than the idea of like a giant drop. What's interesting about you and social media is as soon as you get into competition time, you get off it, don't you? Yeah. And, uh, but that speaks volumes to me. The understanding that you have to concentrate and show all your attention on competition. Surely that's... <laughs> <laughs> Never do master oh, See, <laughs> this is what, <laughs> this one's mine. I'm very excited about this. It smells delicious, by the way. Yeah. That's a good meal, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That's fantastic. I feel like I could jump really far. <laughs> Me too, you know. In my mind. I could fly. Jazz, thank you so much for doing this. Now, before you go, I've got a present for you, and I'm very excited about this, but we've got you some of this. Kopi Luwak. And it's the sort of coffee which is very strange. It's very expensive. It costs, I don't want this. It's 60 quid. I've never tried it, so I think <laughs> we should try this together. This is what the creature looks like. That's a type of cat, apparently. That's a cat? I think so. It looks like a rodent to me. It this is coffee which has been eaten by this thing, mm -hmm. pooed out. And then they took the beans. And they took the beans. And we've got some. It costs 60 quid. Do you want to drink oh, some of this? Yeah, let's. Okay. I want to smell it. Really good. How much are you going to put in? I don't... Just remember, it's 60 quid, so... Oh, do you want to do it? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to drop things everywhere. Let's try it, let's see. That's a fiver. <laughs> I think we really need to let this brew, don't we? <sighs> Whilst we're waiting for that jazz, a couple of questions I'd like to try and ask everybody. What's the meaning of life? I'm still searching, Tim, I don't know. What is the meaning of life? Um... Okay. The final question then okay. is, have you ever seen a UFO or a ghost? No, but me and my housemate are relatively convinced that our flat is haunted. Um, How? Things Why? move, lights are always not as we left them. Things go missing in places they shouldn't be. We've kind of just gone, come to live with it. Oh, that was the ghost. Have you got a loft? Because I read a story once about someone who lived in someone's loft for years. I live in the loft. It's a converted oh, loft. loft. I live with me. It's me. It's you. I live in the loft. You're the ghost. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Best sounding coffee I've ever heard. That's really nice. That is the kind of coffee that almost doesn't taste like coffee. I'm a big fan. Okay, I've got some uh, information on it. It's got hints. That's the other one. Well done, that's just quite <laughs>